Good morning, Springton Lake. Today is Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. Today is a day number two. At this time, would you please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. A very good Tuesday morning to everyone. I hope that you're all doing well and that you're ready for another great day. We have the following announcements for today. Attention debate club members. The diplomacy training virtual field trip will be taking place in Mrs. Newsom's classroom, room A106, near the nurse's office on Wednesday, January 12th. Ms. McCarthy will be waiting for you in the hallway at 8.45 a.m. You should attend your first period class until that time. Donuts and Devos will be meeting this Thursday morning at 7.20 in room D201. That's Mrs. Cliff's classroom. Donuts and juice will be served, and new members are always welcome. The French Club will be meeting after school today. Now, today, during core extension, your teachers are going to be showing a video that Dr. Layton recorded for you about the Safe to Say program in Pennsylvania. This is an important topic and one that requires your attention. Now, for our seventh and eighth grade students, the information that you'll be hearing will be familiar and it's going to serve as a review for you. Now, everyone will still report to their normal CE today. We'll show the video first, then you'll complete a very short Google form and then you'll be able to get on with the regular plan and work for the class period. This is my daily reminder for you to check hack. We've got less than two weeks to go in the second working period. Check in with a teacher if you need help or if you have a question about a grade that you see in hack. We want to be sure that everyone knows what they need to do and that everyone is on track to finish out the marking period on a successful note. Attention eighth grade students. This is a reminder that we are expecting students assigned to the cafeteria to sit at their assigned tables. Now, we do not want to have to check attendance each day. However, we have noticed that some of you are not seated where you are supposed to be. Please do what is expected. Sit at your assigned table. We appreciate your cooperation. Don't forget everyone, your actions matter. Your actions can help keep you and those around you healthy and safe. So please do your part. Mask up correctly, observe the spacing in the cafeteria, and wash your hands frequently. Again, please do your part. Do it for yourself and do it for those around you. We appreciate your cooperation. Student Council is again planning to sell pretzels at the end of the school day this Friday. Stay tuned for additional details about this as the week goes on. And also on Friday, we're going to be participating in some service activities in observance of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service. Stay tuned for more information from Mrs. Britton as we get a little bit closer to the end of the week. Finally, this morning, it's time for the return of the Trivia Tuesday segment. It's been a few weeks. This is going to be your opportunity to test your knowledge for a chance to win some bonus Spartan Bucks. Use that form in Schoology to submit your guess. And again, 10 randomly selected students who submit a correct answer will earn some bonus Spartan Bucks. So here's today's question. Today marks the birthday of Alexander Hamilton, who was born on this day in 1755. Now, if you've seen the musical or listened to the soundtrack or just plain old paid attention in social studies, you know that Hamilton held this cabinet level position in the Washington administration. The first, in fact, to serve in this role. What department did Alexander Hamilton head? Think you know? Submit your answer in Schoology and hey, no Googling. Okay, Spartans, let's do this. Work hard, make good choices, and do your part to keep everyone here at the lake healthy and safe. This concludes our announcements for today. I thank you for your attention. And as always, let's make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.